Good morning guys, welcome to Thursday. It's only Thursday. Before we start today's video, I wanted to address the elephant in the room. So that you are the elephant in the room. You're not an elephant, but what happened? What happened with your COVID test? Just wait, don't tell them. I forget what it's called. Positive or negative? Negative. Negative, are you still sick? Yeah. A little bit. So he has a cold, you guys. It's a common cold. And so we are allowed out. We're allowed to get out there and do some stuff and go shopping, which is what Sam and I are about to do. Uh, if you're wondering about the status of the snow, it is almost gone. It's almost gone, you guys. Some newer viewers are asking for a farm tour, so I decided we'll do another farm tour because we've lived here for a couple of years now and we've done a few things, a few things, and I think it's time that we went out there and showed you guys what's what. But before we do it, we're gonna do the spring cleanup, so you guys will have to wait a little bit longer, but it is coming. Goodbye dogs, goodbye girls, finish your school, do your chores, and we'll be back. We'll be back. How are you feeling, Sophie? It's just my nose. Yeah, she just has a really stuffed nose. Gabby, any sign of cold for you? Nope. Gabby and I do not get sick. I think the reason we do not get sick is because we refuse. We refuse to get sick. Absolutely refuse. So let's go. Let's go shopping since we can. Since we finally can. Holy heck, it is gorgeous out here. We're going riding. It is so gorgeous. It is 11 degrees and it's only 9.17 a.m. So we were only locked down for a day. We couldn't go anywhere yesterday because um, Sylvie had a COVID test. She had a cold. The reason why we had the COVID test was because in Canada, if you have cold symptoms, then you have to either stay home for 14 days or have a COVID test to show that you don't have COVID. So we do not want to stay home for 14 days. So we did a test. And the last thing before we get our shop on is I wanted to tell you about what our chiropractor told us the other day. She told us this really crazy story about how there's this phenomenon out there that we all think that we ride better than we ride. And she told me this story. She said that there were these two older women, obviously been riding their whole entire lives. They know what's up, they know how to ride, they have it all going perfect. Like they just know what they're doing. So they went to this new barn and there's this barn offers a service where they videotape your lesson and then you can watch it back and it's an extra thing that the barn offers because you guys know watching back your video you are able to see mistakes that you make. So these two older women went to this barn and were so happy when it came time to watch their video back. Like it's amazing to be able to sit there with your friends and see how amazing you are and what they saw in the video shook them. They did not look anything like they looked in their heads. They thought they were so amazing, had it all going on and then when they watched back the video they noticed all the mistakes that they were making which is why they make videos so that you can learn from your mistakes so these two ladies never went back to that part again because it was so shocking and earth changing to them to be faced with seeing their own mistakes and that's such a good story i don't know if it's fictional or if it's true she made it sound like it's true and such a valuable lesson for all of us to know that Everybody makes mistakes, even when you think you're invincible, even when you think you've done all the work, all the preparation, all the everything. There are just so many variables in every single day and every single part of life, not just with riding. So I think it's a good lesson to all of us to think before we speak and criticize other people for making mistakes because we all do it. What do you think about that story, Sam? That's why I don't ride. <laughs> You mean like you don't ride because you don't want people to judge you? You don't want people. Oh, because he. See myself. Oh, he's like Gabby. Gabby and him are the same. They don't like other people to see them fail. I'm not like that. I don't care. Failing is a part of life. Go out there and fail a hundred times as long as it leads you to to success on the hundred and first try. So this is what our crickets look like. You can't see them. There are 500 in this box. Oh. There they are. Ew, gross. 500 crickets. Holy heck. Like, we're not ready for spring. It's so hot. It's only going to last today. But man, it is scorching out there. I was only shopping. Two temperatures. What? There's only two temperatures. Hot and cold in hot Canada. Cold. Hot and cold. Oh, man. Okay, so we're just heading out to the barn, but I wanted to show you guys something before we go. I actually videoed this yesterday, but Sam said that the footage wasn't on the camera. 
and I'm sad because we got a package and it literally was the biggest, most gorgeous package ever. And you can imagine our excitement when we open it. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in it. Okay, so a company named Poster Burner sent us these and they're absolutely stunning. So look at this, it is a huge canvas poster. Like it's a canvas and it's huge. It's huge and it's gorgeous. Daisy there for to give you an example how big it is. It's amazing. You guys know that I wanted to buy I wanted to buy canvases to go over the girls' beds. So poster burner, poster burner sent us these. So there's that one of Gabby. And then there's this one of Sophie. Like look how huge it is. And gorgeous. Our pictures done by Sunkiss Media. Like that's amazing. So these are gonna go over their beds. And we're gonna hang them up this week in a couple of days. I'm waiting for Sam to hang them up for me. But I love it. Like the detail, like you can't even tell it's canvas, even though I like canvas, but like it there it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thanks, poster burner, for sending us these amazing canvases. I'll put the link in the description box for the company, just in case you can't find it if you're interested in something like that. I definitely been waiting. I've definitely been wanting to hang something up, and I actually was getting ready to go and order them, and then that they just came. So God at his finest. God working at his finest. Dream it, believe it, achieve it. You would not believe how many things just show up in our life. Yeah, so amazing. Okay, so there's Trixie. I'll just give you a quick update. Her tail's almost completely shed. So since we've had her, her entire body is shed now and her head is starting to shed again. So normally her head would be that orange color. Oh, there she goes. See, her, her tail is, is peeling. You can see up there on her little stone, some of her tail shed, sheds off kind of like a snake. There she goes. Look how chubby she is. She's not too chubby, she's perfect size. She's happy, she's healthy. We've been taking her out and taking her downstairs now that it's starting to get a little bit warmer out so that she doesn't get cold and playing with her in different places. It's We've been so nice introducing her to the uh, dogs. Look at those chubby yeah. little legs. Like some people can't see love for a, for a creature like that, but she's just like a baby to us. She's sweet, she's funny, she needs to like be pampered. She's adorable. Very adorable. All right, so uh, we're at the barn and we decided we're having a mental health day for the horses. It's a mental health day today. The last day we were here was the day the chiropractor was here and it got like so crazy and so busy and when we left, we realized that we left their blankets laying on the floor and then we felt really bad that we did that because we try and obey like, we try and like keep everything clean and don't make messes and we just left them laying on the floor and then we couldn't even come back the next day because Sophie came down with a cold that night. She got her mask on. Nobody else is here. Just to keep her germs to herself though. So because it's so warm out, our mental health day is going to be going on a trail. And you all know Sophie hates trail riding. I don't know how she can be my daughter. Trails are my life. I love trails the best. I hate trails. Why do you hate trails? Because I don't like them. So anyway, she agreed to go with us. So good for the horses, but she doesn't want to ride Finn. Spooky. Finn's not spooky. So she's gonna ride Storm. I try to tell her Storm is not the best trail horse. And then Gabby tried to tell her, Storm is not the best trail horse. In the past, before we got him, he was like, uh, very loved, very cared for pampered pony. A trail Good horse there. he is not. Uh, I see Chino Bambino all naked. And Finny and Stormy. And Finny and Stormy. And Storm's on a go. Look, Storm. Don't you dare. I'm telling you right now, if I fall, I'm going to lose my mind. All right, turkeys. Woo, who knew turkeys could fly? I had no idea those suckers could fly. You have been caught. You have been caught. And he's got a few little bites. There, see what happens every time you let us catch you? Treats. Don't you come. <laughs> I don't have any treats for you, Finn. I don't have my coat, I'm sorry. Our chiropractor said that Finn's not fat. Daddy, I love you. We love you, we'll be back. You have a good day. 
a good day relaxing in the nice it's okay you're okay don't you feel guilty when you take two of your horses and leave the third one like it just seems mean although i'm sure for them they like being left i wish i was going out wish i was going on a trail you're coming with her. yeah i'm coming Wish I was riding my girl, like she's so fun to ride. Today, I was saying to Fiona, we were talking about that story I told you about what our chiropractor told us, told me. And then I was saying to her, what is the phenomenon that happens when like you ride lots of horses? I've ridden a few horses, like probably six or seven horses. And they all feel the same. Like they all have kind of an element of fear and I kind of am awkward on them all. And I, it's just like, this whole experience but then the minute i sat on penny the minute i sat on her it felt i feel like it, it literally there's no fear i mean there's fear but there's not fear like when i ride a regular horse and it feels like i could just ride her forever and, and when i sit on her though it's like a physical sensation she feels like home and she feels like she feels like I'm sitting in the back seat of a car just relaxing. Like, I just, there's this peace and relaxation that comes over me when I climb on her. And in the past, climbing on any horse has always just been fear. And I said, what is that phenomenon? And she said, that's your heart horse. So it's a heart horse phenomenon. And she said that she has that with her, her hope, her mare hope. Um, that that's what, that's how you know you have your heart horse. So my question is, what the heck is a heart horse? Is it the horse that you fall in love with and build a bond with, so you have a strong like a connection? Or was it the horse that you were meant to meet and the horse that was meant for you all along, even without the bond and without meeting? Because that's what it seemed like for me with Penny. So my question to you guys is, what the heck is a heart horse? Comment below. I think it's a horse that you will love forever and ever and ever. So you think it's a horse that you learn to love? No, that like... Is your heart horse Finn? Yeah. Who's your heart horse, Gabby? I don't know. I have three. <laughs> I love that. Who are they? Chino, Storm, and Gracie. Oh, I love that. Did you do anything for Finn? If it meant keeping him happy and keeping yeah. him safe? As anything? Long as I don't sell him. Yeah, we won't sell him. But would you do anything that he needed you to do? Yeah. Like a trail ride? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a trick question. Would you do anything that you had to do for your heart horse? Not everything. Not everything? You can take your mask off. You want me to take take it? All right. This storm is easy to do. Sorry. Hi, Ben! We Hi, are ben. cooking. We are cooking with gas. Hi, All right. I want to know in the comments below, are you a trail girl or no? Or a trail boy. Like, do you like a trail or do you hate a trail? I hate a trail. And I mean a real trail. And I hate leaving my poor horse behind. I know. Is he watching? Yeah, he's staring at us. He's staring at us. That's so sad. <laughs> poor Finny. He's like, you, where are you going? Don't worry, Finn. We're coming back for you. trail ride I love a trail ride that's my thing and Gabby loves a trail do you love a trail Gabby she loves a trail you know what ruined trails for me what ruined trails for you getting lost, getting lost all those times yeah like five times yeah I just to go on like so Sam would it be so much better if your dad could go on trails with us then we would never get lost Putting our life in boxes Erasing the memory so you won't notice I'm taking the time to focus You're by yourself, I'm by myself Wish I could solve your problems You're stuck on my wall like neon paintings And I'm so tired of being honest to everyone but myself 
I do it so well We were so good at flying But we can't keep flying We keep getting stuck On the wrong side of the mountain We were so good at trying But we can't keep trying Cause we only end up On the wrong side of the mountain We gave it so many chances trails we have to be super mindful of the conditions so even though it was a great day to trail ride and other people have trail rided already today um it's not something like he would go out there and canter and gallop down the field with it being wet oh no mom look at this oh jeez stay there stay there don't walk on the ice look at this unicorn look at him he even has a horn in the front of his head he was standing over there and he came walking to me. Hello. I brought his rain sheet because it's about to get colder again. It's your blanket, Finny. Gabby's digging his haircut. She's digging your haircut. A lot of people are saying that they do a combination cut and chop or cut and pull. And people were talking about your solo comb. You know the comb that you have that you got for Christmas or your birthday or something? And that you that so people are saying they use that so i think it's at our barn we should bring it here we should bring it here all right so unfortunately so hard, we just chop it we just chop it gabby's like all she's like me let's just get it done do it the fastest way okay so he's got his spring coat on finn's got his spring coat on and poor old stormy is getting nothing he's not old yeah he's, he's older than me by 20 days but yeah he's not old yeah he's not old but he's going out there with no blanket. The dude doesn't like blankets to begin with. And so hopefully he's gonna be okay. Bye boy, see you tomorrow night. The problem is it's supposed to rain and you all know how much Stormy Boy likes rain. I've been in the field with Storm before where a drop landed on him and he ran as fast as he could and went underneath the tree. <laughs> he doesn't like rain. There's not a lot of leaves out there to help protect him, but he is high enough in the herd, I think, that he can Snake himself a shelter. There are plenty here. It's Taco Thursday, so we're headed home to eat tacos. It was a fun day. I wish I could have spent it with Penny because I'm ready to get my ride on with her. I have some things in the works that I'm excited to share with you about my journey with Penny. I am hooking up with another trainer. I can't wait to introduce you guys to her. She's a gated horse trainer. Uh, it's gonna be hopefully soon. I'm waiting for Penny's feet to grow a little bit. She got a little bit of an overzealous trim the other day. So once that happens, I'll be introducing you guys to what we have, what I have going on with her. And I'm really excited. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the